five favorite short kings in sports. Bennett, okay. do you have a favorite sports short king? Um, the okay. So where's the cutoff? Like, where, what's the height cutoff? Okay, so I, I, I think it should be a little bit different in sports. Like, I think I think we would consider like six feet short. In, let's say anything under six feet. Okay. All right. Um, you got to start. You got to start with a five. Okay. Okay. Um. Damn, that was that, that knocks out some of mine. I mean, two that like jump off the page from the NFL are mm-hmm. uh, Darren Sproles and Danny Woodhead because they both won me money over the years in fantasy football. So respect, short, short king. respect to both of them. Short kings are paying be- big bet Bennett's mortgage. Yeah, and Darren Sproles, uh, I think, uh, yeah, broke the NFL se- single season record all purpose yards in 2011. So like he had a really good NFL career um, for being incredibly short. How about Five. in the NFL, Wes, Wes Welker? Yeah, yeah, I think Welker counts. If incredible uh, career as a receiver, despite being my height. Also, so I Wes like Welker, just, I like Hooters too. So mm-hmm. to circle back, Wes Welker, short king, he was yep. able to uh, flourish in a sport where you're not supposed to flourish at his size. And also, like he pulled the Heisman Trophy winner from Hooters. So like he's checking a lot of boxes as a short king. Yeah, um, I mean, I like I was gonna say Antonio Burks, but he's six foot, so I don't know if I can put him on my list. Like he was, go- he was one that popped popped off the page to me, and I mean, he was able to get in the NBA. So I think you got to get you got to get lower than six. You got to get. I don't think I okay. think Burks is obviously a smaller than normal point guard, but he wasn't like. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking more on Spud Webb, Muggsy Bogues when you get to the NBA. Okay, then Andre Allen. Andre Allen's An- a short another kid. Uh, another BTW legend. I gotta think Andre was under six feet. Dude, you kidding yeah. me? Yeah, I, I, no question. Okay, uh, good. I wanted to get this? a tiger I, on the list. When I first met Andre Allen, he was um, about to. He was the. He was consi- like as stupid as this is. There were rankings, and he was the number one ranked eighth grader in America. Oh, dude, I the, saw him put up like 35, 40 points on a Wednesday night at the Spartan Palace when he was playing for BTW. Okay, so High I did one of the legend. Oh, he's a high school basketball legend. He, uh, yeah, th- he was on a st- state championship team with uh, Tori Moy, T Head. T Head was a mm-hmm. senior, I believe, and Andre Allen was a, f- uh, a freshman. And so Andre was getting ready to go into f- his freshman year of high school. And this is one of the first big stories I ever did at the Commercial Appeal. Um, you know, I was right out of college, and it was like, here, here's the number one ranked eighth grader in America. He's looking for his high school, and everybody is recruiting him illegally. Like there were rules against this, and <laughs> right. everybody was everybody. Believe was it or not, up. yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, so um, I, I went back one time a long time ago, and I looked at that story, um, but, but, and it said because as Andre's high school career continued to develop, he slipped in the rankings. He was. By the time he entered college, he was, I don't even think, considered a top 100 player, maybe borderline top 100. But he had gone from, at one point, somebody ranked him number one his age to he wasn't thought of that way anymore. And the main reason was because when I wrote that story when he was in eighth grade and said he's the number one ranked eighth grader in, uh, in the country he, as a five foot seven point guard. And if you go look at the University of Memphis, he was a five foot seven point guard. He stopped growing. He, yeah. he was the same height in basically eighth and ninth grade that he was when he played at the University of Memphis. So undeniably, one of my favorite short kings, that's Andre Allen. Yeah, um, and then, like, if we're talking NBA, I mean, I think – I know Muggsy Bogues, right? Like, that's a good – but, like, I got to submit Earl Boykins just because, like, more, like, I guess in my era. And, like, when you saw him play, it was – when you saw him in games, it was like, how is this guy in the NBA? Like, how is this even possible? Spud Webb, I think, is maybe yeah, the all-time Webb, yeah. great NBA short king because he won a dunk contest. He didn't just play in the right. NBA despite being five foot six. He won a dunk contest at five foot six, and that was like a big thing of my like it just speaks to we talked about this recently how much the dunk contest doesn't resonate anymore when spud webb beat dominique wilkins in a dunk contest that was a massive massive deal i probably watched it a million times when i was growing up so spud webb is my nba favorite short king wes welker in the nfl we'll get the jessica so we'll run through these real quick i've got jose altuve uh, in major league baseball soccer diego maradona five foot five 
five foot five soccer legend. Soccer is one of the sports where you can be great being short. Oh, yeah. Uh, my three child. If you would have asked me when I was a kid, my three childhood idols, like the posters on my wall. I swear this is true. It was a uh, Diego Maradona, Doc Gooden and Daryl Strawberry. I didn't I, I didn't know how to I didn't character didn't matter to me too much, e- even back then. Yeah, no, uh, that's a good one. Um, in the chat, they're saying uh, Doug Flutie, which that's a good NFL one. Of course, it's, Doug Flutie's a good one. Drew, yeah, I don't. How tall is Drew Brees? I don't know, man. I feel like Brees might be might be on that six foot threshold. I don't know if he's, I don't know if we could put him in. He's right around there. Yeah, he's right around there. Um, so yeah, Maradona in soccer, Spud Webb in the NBA. Messi's only five foot seven. Maradona yeah. in uh, soccer, Spud Webb in the NBA, Altuve in Major League Baseball, Wes Welker in the NFL, and in golf. I'm gonna try to ride this thing to the finish line on Sunday. Okay. Five foot seven, Brian Harmon, now alone atop the leaderboard at the Open Championship. Let's see if he can grab that trophy on Sunday and lift it as high above his head as he can which is probably right around, I don't know, six foot three or six foot four. 